the end of a historic run for the Lemoyne Dolphins at the Division II level is almost here. Only a handful of games contests left for the Finns Athletics at D2 level before they go up to Division I. Joining us now to talk more about it in depth, school president Dr. Linda Lemura. Linda, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us and congratulations. Oh, thank you so much and thank you for having me. I appreciate it, Jeff. Um, what are the main reasons for the jump? Is it all athletics? Um, is it partially for the college overall? A little bit of both? It's primarily for the entire college. It's uh, We don't make any decisions solely on athletics at Lemoyne College. That's not the kind of institution we are. Um, we wanted to move our footprint from New England back to the New York City area where many of our alumni reside and where the population continues to be incredibly robust. Um, we also, you know, we've made our mark in, in, in D2, and one of the messages we want to tell, uh, you know, share with our entire community is that it's, it's time to uh, step it up a bit mm -hmm. and um, to use athletics as the asset, the valuable asset that it is on behalf of an overall arching mm -hmm. strategy for Lemoyne to grow. Um, what's it going to mean for you um, from a financial perspective um, in the sense of are you going to need to upgrade uh, facilities? I mean, the lacrosse field is nice, um, but possibly the gymnasium. Would you be potentially looking at adding sports? Could we see football or ice hockey or you name it, um, you know, down the road? Yeah, with regard to um, finances, um, you know, that's always uh, the big bottom line question, of course. For obvious reasons. Um, first of all, when when um, uh, folks look at the bottom line in terms of uh, how much we're spending in comparison to other schools, they need to be apples to apples uh, comparisons in that we don't have football or hockey right now. Mm -hmm. And generally, when you see a lot of uh, outpaced spending, it's because those sports in particular are um, being sponsored by the league. Having, having said that, there are some sports where we are already at the median or above uh, for our conference, so we need not spend more. And there are others where we have to make uh, more investments. On the facility side, we will begin in earnest to upgrade uh, our lacrosse facilities. Uh, the basketball gym is already a Division I gym. We've uh, put many resources there. So we're, we're on our way, and I do expect that hockey will be on the table for women and men. Football, not so much. Okay, fair enough. Um, I got to ask you this question because this is one of the biggest gripes I've heard, and, and quite frankly, personally, I think it seems silly. This idea that the that the Finns can't compete um, for a championship, uh, you know, starting in the fall when you all become Division One, it it seems silly and outdated to me. Your thoughts? Antiquated, draconian. Um, it's a one size fits all policy that may have worked for the NCAA back in the 80s and 90s. And and frankly, in all in all due respect and candor, one of the reasons that the NCAA is forced to change so dramatically is that these things weren't addressed in a systematic t uh, way over time. And uh, that's a rule that um, the uh, new. Um, President uh, Charlie Baker needs to take a close look at. Okay, well, there, there we put him on the spot for that one. Um, last one for you. Um, I, I imagine everybody around campus is pretty excited for, um, for this opportunity. I know it's been great in D2 and all the championships, but time to, as you said, uh, you know, kind of grow a little and, and come closer to home to play schools that are a little bit more New York State bound. Absolutely. So well said. We're so excited to be able to play natural rivalries as a Division One member, Niagara, Canisius, St. Bonaventure. But then to move our footprint into the New York City area where thousands of alumni reside, work, uh, raise their families. This was really a very sensible move after as difficult as it was after 18 months of intense study. Uh, I can honestly tell you that I sleep at night with this decision. Lemoyne President Linda Lemire. Linda, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll talk again soon. Thank you.